Netta Snook was best known for being the woman who taught Amelia Earhart how to fly. Uh, Netta was born in Mount Carroll, Illinois on February 14, 1986. She was interested in machinery and flight at an early age. She was nine years old when her father bought a second-hand car and they studied the manual and learned about auto maintenance. She graduated from high school in 1915, moved to Iowa, and attended Iowa State College. She com completed home economic study courses that were created for female students, and then she began taking courses that she wanted to, like mechanical drawing, combustion engines, and more. She then applied to the Curtis Wright Aviation School, but was denied admission because no females were allowed. Following this, she went to the Danvinport Flying School and was accepted and was going to be the first woman to attend the school. In June of 1917, Snook was helping to build and maintain planes. One of the planes crashed and killed the school's president, causing the school to shut down. So, Netta applied again to the Curtis Wright Aviation School with help from her colleagues at the Danvinport Flying School. Once she began to attend this school, the school's aircrafts were dismantled and sent away along with students, including Netta, to a different aviation school in Miami due to World War I. Woodrow Wilson then prohibited all flying in the United States during the war. She got an invitation from the British Air Ministry to work as an expeditor. Job was to improve delivery of airplanes and engines that were built in North America and shipped into England for the Royal Air Force. Netta then returned home and rebuilt a wrecked Canuck plane she bought. She dismantled the plane to ship it, reassembled it in a nearby pasture. She offered rides for money, had a license to fly, but she was not legal to fly with other passengers. She made a deal with Bart Kinner to test fly his planes in turn for her full commercial use of his airfield, and this is where her teaching career began. Netta began teaching several people, including Amelia Earhart, in December of 1920. Amelia Earhart crashed a plane with herself and Netta in it due to plane malfunction. Neither woman were hurt. The Curtis Jenny airplane was the plane that Netta and Amelia flew during their lessons. Netta was marrying William Southern in 1922 and had a baby, and this ended her flying career. Amelia Earhart was born on July 24, 1897, in Atkinson, Kansas. Until she was 12, she lived with her wealthy grandparents in, grandparents in Atkinson, Kansas, where she attended a private school. Her father was an alcoholic and a lawyer and worked for the Rock Island Railroad. His failure and the humiliation caused Amelia's lifelong dislike of alcohol and desire for financial security. In 1909, Amelia and her sister went to live with their parents in Des Moines, Iowa. Amelia's mother left her father in 1914 and then moved to Chicago, Illinois, where Amelia graduated from Heidi Park School in 1915. She attended college at On God School, Pennsylvania, and volunteered as a nurse in a military hospital in Canada. Her flying lessons were at Bert Kinner's airfield on Long Beach Boulevard in Los Angeles with her teacher, Netta Snook. On December 15, 1921, Amelia received her license from the National Aeronautics Association. Her first record was in 1922 when she became the first woman to fly above 14,000 feet. Amelia became the first woman and second person after Charles Lindenberg to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Congress awarded her the Distinguished Flying Cross, a military decoration awarded for heroism or extraordinary achievement while participating in an aerial flight. She was the first woman to receive the award. Amelia was the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to the United States in 1935. She participated in the All-Women's Air Derby, the first transcontinental air race for women. Amelia, another woman, created the 99th as an international organization for the advancement of female pilots. 
On June 1, 1937, Amelia Earhart and Frederick Noonan started a trip with the purpose of going around the world. On, Ju on July 12, it was the last time people saw Frederick and Amelia alive. Later, Amelia and Frederick lost contact with the radio. Franklin Roosevelt began a massive search for them, but they were never found. And on July 19, 1937, Amelia and Frederick were declared lost at sea. There are many theories in about what happened to Amelia, but the main theory is that they crashed into the Pacific Ocean.